Welcome back to my cold, cold garage. Today we're going to clean up these 10 drawer slides and oh my gosh, 20 of the actual drawers. Now luckily the drawers themselves are in pretty good shape. They're pretty clean inside and out. All of these uh, filing mechanisms unlock and lock and slide pretty easily so they just need a real light wipe down, vacuum out the Oh, the giblets and the crud from the corners, and uh, disassemble all of these front faces. I've already taken one off. They come off really easily with four little machine screws here. Um, you can see some of them have been replaced over the years, so we will probably clean those up and make them all consistent, maybe. See how much I want to invest into it. Um, and then the drawer faces themselves are pretty clean as well. They don't need much. Um, just a wipe down, a little wipe with acetone. A couple of them have like this, I think it's packing tape or something stuck to it. Uh, because ultimately those will be behind labels and so we're not really gonna see them. I am gonna hit them with a, a coat of the uh, hammered aluminum paint just to make it match the rest of the cabinet should I not label them. Um, and then these face frames, once they get cleaned up and scuffed, uh, we're gonna paint those bright orange to match my uh, handy dandy Harbor Freight toolbox and my homemade grinder stand here uh, that I made out of a piece of old well casing. So, let's get to it. So the drawer slides are done, and of course, as uh, I found as I worked through them, more tape. That's right. Tape, 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 and more tape. Uh, additionally, this bottom slide um, had a nice coating of that waxy scum on it, whatever the heck that was, and it was disgusting from a dust standpoint. It was actually quite interesting as I worked through this stack of drawer slides, the closer I got to the bottom shelves, because of the order that I took these out, the top here is actually the bottom, uh, the closer I got to the bottom shelves, the nastier the film of dust and grime and decades worth of uh, government building settlement became. So next up, drawers. First, I'm gonna pull the faces off of all these. The insides don't really need a whole lot. I might just blow them out with the compressor. Um, and then I'll wipe down each of the faces with some acetone and uh, the scrub uh, scrubber where necessary so that we can, uh, nice government green paper there, uh, so that we can get those faces ready for painting soon. So here we go. Juarez Jowrez. Hmm. So I want to show you just how nice these drawers are. Some of them, as you can see here by the sliding track, like have barely been used. And the sliding mechanisms are great too. There's a little handle on the back, a little uh, stamped handle there. And you can see there, it's got a couple little knurled wheels that cam down onto that track. And you can even slide it to the end and remove it. This is fantastic engineering. They just don't make stuff like this anymore. Or if they do, you're paying for it. So I'm really grateful I was able to find this cabinet. This thing is just amazing. Also, about half of these drawer fronts are using these posi drive screws and apparently they were torqued by a gorilla um, I'm having to break them by hand to get them started before I can even use the drill to get them out otherwise the the drill head is just slipping I mean I like posi drive I'm a skier I understand its use but to hold a little cast a uh, little casting on the front of a drawer do you really need 30 foot-pounds of torque on a posi drive screw the others 
are using these nice little uh, round headed screws with a oh, there we go with a lock washer. Um, those are coming out nice and easy, but the ones with the posi driver are being a pain. Otherwise, though, these drawers are just amazing. The closer I inspect them and the more I look at them, I'm super stoked about the quality of this cabinet. All right. Nine more drawers to go, a little more than halfway through, and then we'll be on to uh, cleaning them and getting them ready for paint. A couple of these drawers have this disgusting, rough, sticky something on them. I don't know if this is the same floor wax suspect uh, that we had from the bottom of the cabinet, but whatever it is, it does not like to come off easily. I've tried all the usual suspects. Of course, soap and water, thinking maybe it was water soluble. Uh, we've tried oil-based solvents like acetone and mineral spirits and even chlorinated brake cleaner. I've tried denatured alcohol. I've tried WD-40. I just don't know what this is and it will not come off. I think what I'm gonna have to resort to is probably like brake cleaner and a Scotch-Brite pad and just straight abrace, abraze, sand that and shit off. Cause I do not know what it is. It's not that critical. It's covered up by that faceplate, but it's gross and I want it gone. And who knows what it actually is. For all I know, it could be some toxic stuff from the labs, but I still think it's just some sort of floor polish. I don't know what else to try and use to dissolve this stuff. Well, here it is after green scotch Brite pads and uh, some chlorinated brake cleaner. Let's see if we can get this to focus on the panel. You can see there, it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be good enough to accept paint, I believe. And like I mentioned, this area here, I am not concerned with because it's gonna be covered up anyway. So here's the other one that was really gross. Pretty nice. Uh, the bonus here that I discovered is that uh, by hitting this with the green Scotch-Brite, it scuffed it and gave it a nice dull finish for painting. So that's what we're gonna do with the rest of the cabinet here is I'm gonna take some mineral spirits and a fresh green Scotch-Brite pad and scuff the whole outside of this and that has a couple benefits. One is that it's going to prep it for paint, but by using mineral spirits, it'll also remove any other grease or oil residues that might be on there. And then when I'm done with that, I'll hit it with a, a clean rag with some acetone on it just to remove any residual oils, that fingerprints, things like that, and then we'll be ready to paint. So let's get to it. And you can see here now, after a quick little wipe down with a rag and in the sun, especially as the solvent evaporates off, you can see there's a nice, uh, nice dulled surface finish now. So from glossy powder coat to dulled up surface to accept the paint. Um, what I ended up doing was small swirls all the way across and then I finished it up by hitting it with vertical and horizontal straight swipes just to make sure I had scratches going in every direction. And that'll be the best for holding onto the paint later. So let's finish this up. Okay, now that the main cabinet is scuffed, I'm gonna wipe it down with some acetone and a clean rag and then move it out into the sun to get warmed up a little bit. Since it is winter here in the mountains of New Mexico, we we'll want to make sure that this cabinet is nice and warm so that the paint is accepted easily. 